Welcome back to another part in this Python series on the Django Web Framework and in this one we're going to look at locking down the views we've created that require a user to be logged in so that only logged in users can access them and we're also going to make sure that the links to those pages can only be seen when the user has logged into their account and when the user isn't logged into that account then they see only the relevant links so maybe the register and the login button so let's first do the links. So from the last video I mentioned we were going to make it a uh, responsive navbar based on that fact whether the, whether the user is logged in or not. So at the moment we have all the links here that, that link to the views that we've defined uh, in previous videos all in the navbar at the moment and we don't really know if uh, the user is logged in or not. There's not really a clear way to tell by looking at the site. So what I'm going to do is make separate links on the navigation bar based on whether the user is authenticated or not. So the way that we can do that is I'm just going to, in fact I'm going to copy and paste this. So I'm just going to copy and paste all of these links on the navigation bar and now what I'm going to do is use the Ginger templating engine to dynamically change the navigation bar based on whether the user is authenticated or not. So the way that we can do that is we can use this ginger notation here, this ginger syntax, and I'm going to say uh, if, so a ginger if statement, uh, user dot is authenticated. Now this base HTML is rendered when we uh, call the render method in uh, these views here, and whenever we render a template, we pass through this request object, and that contains uh, the user object. So we can actually just use the user object in our templates if we need to. And that user object has a method called uh, is authenticated, and that's going to say uh, true if it is uh, a logged in user that's accessing the page, or false otherwise. So I'm going to say if the user is authenticated, it's going to show this navigation bar. Else, so sort of similar to the Python logic where you have if if statements with else keyword and that sort of stuff uh, and then I'm going to say else look at this navigation bar and then I'm also going to remember because it's uh, HTML and ginger rather than Python I have to remember to close off this if statement so I need to remember to say end if as well unlike in Python so now that we've got that we can change this so that these are only the URL, only the buttons that we want for logged in users. So, for example, we don't want the register and we don't want the login. So, let's see. I don't know if I'm logged in. I don't think I am. So, I'm going to log in here. So, now I'm logged in. And you can see we haven't got a login button and we haven't got that register button. So, that's really good. That's a lot better for a logged in user because they only now see the buttons that are relevant to. Uh, them as they're trying to use the the site as we intend them to. So now all these things should work uh, just as they did before, just taking them to the relevant links. So they will still work. And I press the log out button so I get the buttons back because I'm not a logged in user anymore. So this is still wrong. So let's fix the else part. So I don't want to show pretty much any of these buttons. All I want to show is the register and the login button. And in fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the login also on the right hand side just because I think I think that would look better. So let's just uh, put that there. And I'm going to delete this first bit because it's superfluous now. And I'll refresh. And now we only get the home page. Well, I don't know why it says, why does it say home page there? Um, well, because we haven't changed that. So uh, this is the home page, but this is not a logged in user. So, uh, I think if we log out, so this is now a logged out user and all they can do is log in or register. So that makes much more sense because uh, they, they can only see again what is relevant to them. They don't see any profile button because they haven't got a profile yet if they haven't created an account. So that's a great start. I think that makes a really nice dynamic URL uh, and navigation bar. But what happens if we still navigate to, say, account forward slash profile? Uh, remember, we're a logged out user, um, but we can still see that page. It just means we haven't got a link to it. So we need a way of saying we can't have access to this unless we're a logged in user. 
because otherwise that's uh, kind of just, you know, we shouldn't be having access to that page uh, unless we have an account, because otherwise this pa page just looks broken. We haven't got a first, last name or email, for example, and our username is just anonymous. So we don't want anonymous users on this site. Uh, if you do on your site, then by all means, maybe you wouldn't want to do this step, but on this site, I am going to deny access to non-logged in users. So you have to have an account to use this site. So what I need to do to be able to deny access to this page for non-logged in users is I need to import something else. So I'm going to say from Django.contrib.auth, so the Django authentication decorators import login required. So if you don't know what a decorator is, uh, which I don't really necessarily expect you to because when I was learning Django that was actually the first time that I saw a decorator as well. So a decorator is just a way of giving added functionality to one of your function based views or technically any function in Python. You can even write your own decorators if you want to. But login required is what's called a decorator and the way that we use a decorator is we pick a view, let's say this view profile which is the one that's powering this profile page and the decorator actually goes right above the function and you use an at sign, that's the syntax for it, and then you say the name of the decorator, so I'm going to say login required, just like that. And now if we go back to this page, if we look at the development server, so it's refreshed, so we can refresh this, and now it says page not found, and that is because we don't have access to that page because we aren't logged in. So what this decorator is doing is, is effectively protecting that view from anyone that is not authenticated using the Django authentication system that we've built over the last few videos, doing that complicated login system that's pretty much just built into Django for us and we just use. Well, we're utilizing that authentication mechanism to be able to not only define those uh, little buttons in the navigation bar and make it responsive based on whether they're authenticated or not, but we can actually deny access to entire pages if we need to. So that's how you would do it using the login required decorator. And in fact, I'm just going to copy this and I'm going to add it in fact to any view which I don't want the users to uh, see if they're not logged in. So. Uh, they don't want to be, I don't want them to be able to change their password, edit their profile, uh, or really do anything like that. So I think that should be okay. Um, let's go ahead and try that out. Oh, maybe the home page as well. So let's add that as well. So they can register, but they can't really do anything else. So let's go and go back to, say, account. And again, because the account URL was the home page and that didn't work, so let's try account for slash login. So we've got access to the login page. So now we've locked down the site pretty much so that no one has access to it unless they actually use the login system. Now I think we've made really good progress with our login system and registration process so far, and I think it's very nearly finished. Uh, at least with the accounts sort of Django app that we're making. But I want to talk in the next couple of videos about how we can potentially refine the login required decorator or just make a slightly better alternative instead of using that decorator.